what going on guys today we are going to create a simple login form in asp.net using visual studio 2022 if you don't know how to install and configure visual studio for asp.net uh, web framework development then uh, we created one video the link is in the description you should watch that before continuing this tutorials so let's do it open up visual studio 2022 and click on create new project in source asp.net web form because by default in visual studio 2022 you will not see asp.net uh, web application with dotnet framework so you have to configure visual studio code uh, i already created one video so have a look at that and after searching you will find that uh, select that click on next and give the project name asp login form click create and then select empty click create and it will take some time to create your project because visual studio is a bulky id it takes some time to render and right click over your solution click on add and then select web forms because in uh, asp.net web application uh, in dotnet framework uh, web pages are called web forms here you can give a name like a login and simply close this so that we can write here and form here inside that form what we are going to do is we are going to write table html table and inside that table we are going to write table data sorry table row and inside that table data and inside that table data here we are going to write username and another one here go the text input and if you don't know this uh, toolbox from here go to view and then select toolbox you will uh, see that and drag and drop uh, text box from here because we need a sp.net web control here not the html one so drag and drop and simply copy this and paste here and here select that td and here goes password password and here select that and go to properties and you can change this to text mode to password so that your password will hidden there you go now again simply paste that one more time we don't need here td but here we need a button so i'll delete that and here double click button in display and button text here goes login then okay now go back to design view here this is a pretty simple login form go back again and here what you can do is table align align is equal to center and here you can uh, give one s1 tag and here goes login form and again here goes align align is equal to center here we are creating a simple login form without using any css or front-end technology like bootstrap so go back to design and double click that login button so that it will create a listening event of that button and here string or uh, before writing your code go back to design because we have to give a uh, variable name to that text box so go to properties and here from here you can find one id here goes txt user and select that to txt pass so that it will easy for us to remember our variable name now go back here is string username is equal to. here goes txt user dot text and string string password is equal to txt pass dot 
text and if username is equal to admin and password is equal to admin then what we are going to do is we are going to display a message response dot write and here I am going to display one alert box in JavaScript so script type is equal to text slash java script and alert function and then here goes login successful login success and close that script and there you go now simply copy this otherwise now else simply paste that and change the message to login error simple and pretty straightforward uh, but if you want to create a login form uh, using ASP.NET in SQL Server database that is uh, connecting your login form to our database uh, then we already created one video the link is in the description section you can look at that also watch that now run your application uh, it is not displaying in center I don't know why uh, go back and I write here uh, wrong a l i g n save that and execute your program again there you go now it is displaying in center it is a pretty uh, straightforward uh, simple login form now enter admin its username and password and click login alert box to display login successful if you enter other than admin and uh, admin then message box should display login error so pretty straightforward and simple so that's all in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming videos and stay connected with us because we are going to create a lot of tutorials regarding asp.net and sql server database uh, and we have a target of reaching 100k subscriber this year so help us with that also and once again thank you for watching have a good day bye bye